Okay, we're going to continue on with the good fight. And in the last video, we had uh, we had to repel this massive counterattack by the French. And we were able to sort of swallow that up and defeat it. And so we're just going to continue along here. This is becoming more of a war of attrition. And we've got the Papacy. They returned as well. So I'm trying to just surround them with as many armies as I can to prevent them from launching an attack. And I think what we'll do is just keep up the assault that we got going on France and hopefully can claim that lesser victory, which I'm after. And I don't know how many more forces they're going to bring down from up north. That's what they did last time, so I didn't... Because of the fog of war, I didn't really have a good chance to see them. So we're just going to keep moving these forces over here. And just keep... Like I said, send an army after army to take them out. And so let's, let's do a check and see how many areas. Check and see where we have to uh, construct armies. I'm going to keep constructing armies over here as well. Like I said in the last video, we're just going to make this a war of attrition. All right, so let's, we're just going to go on an all-out spending spree. And keep the pressure at uh, at the maximum. All right, let's end the round here. Nova guys are kind of just sitting there all by themselves, and they're not really causing any problems. So we'll just leave them alone. I think we're allies. Let me see. Yes, so we'll stay allies with them. There's only a few. A few regions left. Oh, look at that. They've got a little mini rebellion going. I may take advantage of that. We'll see. Even though we know they won't win it. Let's check the loyalty. i got to make sure. And yeah, we still have some disloyal troops. Those are probably older troops. The new ones are very loyal. Well, maybe not. Yeah, I want to watch out for a civil war at this point. You never know. I've had that happen end game where you were close to winning and all of a sudden you got a civil war. And next thing you know, uh, that would probably favor the French at that point, right? So that's why I'm just checking the loyalty here of some of these. What I like to call, see now there's one. Okay, so let's see if we can get some princesses we can marry off here. Oh, these units are just sitting down here all by them. Lo they're lonesome. Let's send these guys up here. This really is a game of micromanagement. Okay, so I got to see if I have any princesses. Doesn't look like... Oh, no, I do. Okay, she was kind of lurking behind there. So let's marry her off to this guy. And hopefully most of the rest of these... More worried about the generals being loyal. Yeah, okay, that looks good. And I think we have some titles to give out here. Yeah, let's actually give the title out to... What do we got here? Yeah, let's give them to this guy right here. Good, we got a one-star general out of it. How about that? Any more titles? Oh, we got several. Okay. Yeah, let's just see. You know what I'll do? I'm going to make some generals. Yeah, we'll wait for the next round and combine these armies up, and then I'll hand out some more titles. Got another one here. Yep. Several more. Okay, that works out. All right, let's see what happens here. I think we're almost ready to go back on the offensive. I'm just going to get a few more armies up there. I like to sort of gather them all up like a blitzkrieg and then, then launch the attack. But they have some rebellions going on now, so they might be on the verge of folding. I'm not going to let a crusade go through. Come on. Be serious. We're at war and they're trying to send a crusade through. Sure, why not? We'll accept your offer. 
And then let's check the loyalty of the provinces. Couple areas of concern. Nothing major. Looks pretty good. I think there was one up here where it was getting rather low. Where is that? Right here. What's going on with Aquitaine? Aquitaine is not too loyal. Okay. So I've got to check. Oh yeah. Can't forget these boats trying to come around. So let's just attack those ships. Make sure they don't get around and cause any problems with the lines of communication. And let's see. I do have some disloyal peasants right now. Let's just check these. I want to make sure because I, like I said before, I don't want a rebellion. That is not in my best interest at this point. So let's just make sure. Check a few more of these. Looks pretty good. Looks overall, I think it looks pretty good. What we'll do is we'll gather everybody up. Well, this is looking pretty safe now, so we'll gather all the armies in this province right here. And I think these areas are reasonably safe from the papacy. I think it looks pretty good. If they launch a an attack, I'll be able to sort of deal with that, hopefully. Okay, so let's combine up these armies. Let's get the most loyal guy. No, let's find a guy that's the most loyal. Yeah, we'll take this guy. Put him in charge. Whoops. Where was he? There he is. Okay. And then we'll hand a title to him. Didn't give me a one star. Oh, well. Okay, so let's see. So we got this guy up here. Let's move him here. Move these guys in here. Combine that army up. We got those guys. Okay, looking good. All right. Hand out a title here. Thought I had some peasants here. Apparently not. Let's create some. Wow, that's a lot of archers. I think that's when I was in panic mode trying to get troops for the counterattack. So we'll we'll send these guys to the front line. They won't like that, of course. Oh, we got these guys too. Okay. Everybody's going to the front. All right. And I figured the loyalty would drop. That's fine. We'll create some peasants. Drop the taxes to keep them happy. And there we go. Okay. Put that guy in charge. We want the most loyal guy in charge. And it happens to be this, this second guy, so we'll put this guy in charge. And I think... Well, I thought, I thought I did. Or did I give him the title? I think I did. Oh, I did. Okay, never mind. I don't know if I can marry, no, only one princess. I already married her off. That's fine. Okay. I think we're going to avoid a, a catastrophic uh, rebellion anyways, because we got enough loyal troops. Victory will do that in this game for sure. Oh boy. There they come. Okay. I knew we were going to lose that. Wow, they sent the whole, whole ball of wax. Sorry to use those terrible cliches. Okay, so here we go. It's on now. All right, well, we got to deal with this. I knew this was going to be a problem. I'm not going to even try to take over Rome because I want them just to retreat there. It's one thing I hate about this game. You conquer the papacy and they come back. Uh, you know, I wish they wouldn't. You defeat them. Usually when you defeat somebody, that's it. They're gone. So we're going to now have to deal with that. Let's move this army down here. Whoops. 
Yeah, we're gonna have to do some rearrangement here. Send in as many armies as we can. They might attack Tuscany. I don't have really anything to send there. Well, you know what? I do. Let's just move everything we can over there. Helps to keep the line. Of, helps to keep the line of communications open for sure. All right. So let me think about this for a second. And what do I want to do? Any more troops to send? No. Well, yeah, we have these guys. Send them down. Let's put them right there. And I don't think anybody can go to that province, unfortunately. All right, we'll see what happens here. I think we're going to crush this, though, eventually. And even when the Papacy comes back, I wish they wouldn't send, like, five armies. Give them, like, five armies. I've seen it worse. Or sometimes when they come back, ten armies. And then, you know, it's really hard to defend that. Oh, boy. The French are congregating up there. So, got to keep an eye on that. All right. I think I'm going to win this one. Yes. And that's it for them for a while. That's the good thing after you win a decisive battle against them. You can kind of bottle them up for a while. So that's what I'll do. Just keep them bottled up. And surrounded. I think they lower the taxes, yep, when they come in. Let's see if we can do some building. Hey, you know what? I probably should check the revenue here. Yeah, 10 grand around. I think we're okay. Keep building stuff. Not gonna stop now, just keep plugging away. What do we got up here? Okay, so the French are kind of congregating up here, which is a little bit threatening. But I think we're almost ready to go on the attack against them. I don't even think we need these guys down here, so we'll just move them up here. And let's check, make sure no ships are coming around. Doesn't look like it, all right. Okay, I think I'm ready to go on the offensive, and we're just gonna go on a blitzkrieg here. So, we've got these guys here. I think we'll just leave this army intact. Let's find a loyal guy. There we go. Oh, a ship showed up. Okay. Where'd he come from? Probably here. Okay. Kiev. Okay. Yeah, I haven't taken all of the... That's why it's so critical to get rid of the ports on the Mediterranean. Because of that problem right there. That is okay. All right, so we're going to go on a major offensive here. First thing we're going to target is Austria. You know what? I also might go up this way to Kiev, but... You know what? Yeah, I want to get rid of... I'm trying to decide here. Thinking out loud. Really want to get rid of... You know what? We'll take Austria. And then what I'm going to do... Is keep... No, you know what? We're just going to go after them. So we'll send this army down here, keep these guys, and that one there. We won't worry about this province for now. Bavaria looks ready for the taking. Send this army in here. Well, you know what? I could have not quite ready to attack Bavaria yet, actually. I want to get these armies in place. But we'll continue the attack up here. Good. Okay. All right. Let's end the round.
And we took Friesland. All right. You have conquered more than 60% of Europe. I think we're going to take this. That's it. Yeah, there really is no point. I think it's I think it's pretty much a foregone conclusion. So thanks for watching. And I'll probably start, well, I will start another series on another. Probably maybe I'll play the Byzantines or somebody. Somebody else, maybe the Danish. But yeah, I'll definitely have more videos coming in the future. Thanks for watching.